All right, what's up guys, Zach here, and I wanna share with you step-by-step -step exactly how we created this email design for a company called Box Ross. So let's take you through the design. We got the hero header. They really, really do well with their sponsorships. So they have Tank Davis here in the hero header. Of course, we got to add him in there. If boxing, Tank Davis, world champion right there. Taking it through the rest of the email, we're just welcoming people to the brand, sharing a few of the most loved products, adding a little bit more boxing celebrity, well-known boxing people into here add shop 10 percent off and there's the footer all right cool let's get into designing this email from scratch so obviously we already created it now we're just going to show you exactly what it did so number one we're creating a frame here we're going to make this 600 pixels wide pretty simple now they have a couple different fonts that we're playing with here the header is going to be this serif font and then the body is going to be sans serif so you can tell the differences between the two sans serif means without those little things on the side here it's a straight straight font so we're using that for the body usually that's a good way to do things also we have their previous email which it does okay it is what it is it's it's a cool color scheme it gets the job done, it shares the 10% discount, but not a lot going on here, not sharing much about the brand, not mobile optimized, and overall, kind of looks like you threw in an image and made the color black, change a button color, and that's it. It's not actually showing the premium quality of this brand, in my opinion. All right, so we are, uh, number one, going to start off by making a rectangle here at the, at the top and we want it to match the brand's color, so we're gonna make it this darker color. Awesome, all right, and yeah, we can see they're both 600 pixels wide. Now, we wanna make this, this frame a lot taller, obviously. Cool, okay, so we're gonna add the logo, of course, at the top. Training wear trusted by Boxing's Elite. We can see here, they didn't have much of a headline, I really wanted to highlight, it could be the champion's choice, it could be training where trusted by Boxing's Elite. You wanna have a really strong headline and you want them to very clearly see the discount code here at the, the top. So we're gonna add that baby right there and then we're gonna pull this down a little bit. We'll create that transition in a second. And then use code XYZ for 10% off your first purchase. I'll show you how I made this kind of transition here in a second. So we're just gonna create a text box right there by hitting T on your keyboard. And then what we can do here, I'm gonna go into here and let's grab, let's do that again. Whoops, come on. There we go. Putting that text into there and assume it was just plain text like this. They're using a font called Enter, super popular. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go into here, we're gonna copy this text right here. And if we want it to be that color, we're going to go to fill and we're gonna add actually a, a gradient into here. So you're gonna pull this gradient. We're gonna make on the left-hand side, we're gonna make it red. On the right-hand side, wanna make it orange. So if you have, we're taking their, their previous button color of orangish there and we're pulling this gradient so that it's pretty much like that and boom there we are we want to make this a little bit bold so we're going to go into here make that bold 10 percent off your first purchase awesome all right and then creating this button from scratch here gonna hit r on our keyboard to make a rectangle make it roughly the same size and then we'll slightly round the corners as such to match their website. And what we did was we just took this exact same color, hit I on our keyboard for the eyedropper, and then took some text, put it right in the middle here, shop, don't have to do anything crazy, 10% off. Just f I like their buttons, same type of style, boom, there we go. And then we can either capitalize it ourselves or just go into here, hit bold, capitalize it ourself, should be something like that. Oh, shop 10% off now is what we decided on the copy. Boom, there we are. And then group those two things 
and we're good to go. Awesome. All right, our hero header is optimized. One, two, three different sections we're going to distribute vertically. We want to space them evenly. I don't know why that's not. This guy is messed up. Okay, you don't want that happening. We are going to do something like this and then select one, two, three, distribute vertical spacing. Cool. That is optimized. All right. Now we're going to add in this image right here. But before we do that, let's make this little transition. It's going to be not super flat. So double click into there, take this guy and we want to give it a little bit of breathing room. There we are. Awesome. Okay. And then how we did this image, we actually, what we started off with was this full image right here. So we wanted to add in Tank Davis, undefeated world champion right there. So we just put him in there, sent him to the back using that, and we just cropped it out. And boom, there we are. Crop him in there. If you needed to, you could have, I think what we had it originally was like this, where we just literally cropped out that right there. And we wanted to add Tank Davis into there just because. So what we did was we just took some text and we took a line. So we took this text and then created hit L on our keyboard, made a line like that, spaced it enough, grouped those two babies together and put it down by his feet. Sweet. Okay, there we are. Now we, we want to do this transition right here. So all we're going to do is create a rectangle, make it the same color as this. All right. Eye on our keyboard. It's going, it's going to be the same as this kind of gray color. And then we want to make sure it matches up here. So what we're going to do so we're going to, you can eyeball it or you can actually like use the angle, but just for the sake of this video, we're going to eyeball it. Let's do this. Let's change the fill color and make this like green so that we can clearly see if there's, okay, let's align it that same angle because you want this one and your same angle down here to be exactly the same. So let's do something like this and then obviously we got to go back change the color 100 percent and let's right here for, just for simplicity's sake let we don't want this little white space down here so let's can't really crop it like that so i'm just going to very simply make a rectangle as such it's going to be white we're going to send it all the way in the correct spot and there we are okay so that's that that is at a 6.65 degree angle we just noted that for later now we need to actually add in the the text so we're using the same serif text as here we want it to say the champion's choice though the champ choice boom Okay, K on our keyboard, make it a lot smaller. Let's put it right into there and there we are. We'll just make a bunch of these babies, throw that into there, can go more than you need. One, two, three, four, distribute horizontally Oops. and hit V on our keyboard to move that. All right, doesn't really matter too much. We're gonna group that baby and that's how we would create that. So this is a 6.65 degrees, 6.65, boom, there we go. We can delete it and throw it into there. Make sure it's actually in your frame. So sometimes you need to do that. Sweet. You can, this one, we made the text a little bit smaller. You can make it a little bit bigger. Just check out whatever makes sense. Cool, okay, so really this, is an image with a little gray background. Put some text on the side here, and then we put some, this is just text sections. So pretty straightforward. We're gonna take all this text. I'm not gonna show you how to add text if you don't know how to know how to tech, add text in Figma. It's not hard, trust me. 
Okay, so we're gonna center that right there. And then what this is, simply just an image and our way of adding it in here, just adding a little bit more pizzazz to it is adding a rectangle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a rectangle that's the exact same size. Actually, let's do this. Let's go into here and we can add in an effect. So we can do a drop shadow and we can pull it off. We're gonna do 25 and we'll do 20, actually in this case, 25 and 25. So we can do whatever you want. This is just a gray little box or whatever, but we're gonna add that into there. And we are going to make it, gonna make it gray and no blur. This is a straight up box that we're just adding in there like such. Pretty much the same thing as what we got going on here. I actually just changed it up a little bit, made it go off to the right and you can just be creative with it. No rhyme or reason, but we got that guy into there. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger and center that guy. So something like that. And then let's change, change it like that. Awesome. All right. Welcome to Box Raw. Thank you for just subscribing. These guys are centered as you can see. All right, cool, we're gonna create this text on the side here, so just hit T on your keyboard. We want pretty big, it's called, oops, we don't play boxing. So this is gonna be, be, be pretty big letters, you can see here, enter black. And then let's put it off to the side. Let's give it a fill red, just like such. And then let's reduce the opacity, so it's something like such. That's maybe a little bit too much. We'll give it just enough to give it a little bit of a vibe. And then we wanna slightly cut this off so you can see here it's coming in from the side and we can't really see that it's that red. So let's do like 20, perfect. Let's see what this one was. This one right here was 46, same type of thing, whatever you wanna do. Cool, okay, so I'm gonna do one of these sections and then we're gonna copy and paste the, the rest. So what we got going on here is really, we have this couple of different shapes going on here. So basically we're starting off, we're throwing in the name of the product. Second, throwing in two product images as such, number one and number two. For this brand especially, it's super important that we're showing exactly how the products are being used to boxing apparel brand. So we are needing to show the apparel in action. Obviously very important how it looks as well. Okay, great, cool. Let's do, what the hell's going on here? Okay, we'll kind of position this guy right below there. There's a weird, weird mask that we don't necessarily need. So we're gonna delete this guy and pull him out and we're gonna get rid of that mask. Remove mask, okay. All right, either way, you're gonna throw some images just like such into there, kind of align it. You can build this once and use it multiple times. So the it's okay if the images are overlapping. And then we're gonna take this shape here. You can just create a rectangle put it in off to the side, but you're still showing off the products. And then this little shape right here, you can do the same process as how we created this up there to create this guy right there. Sweet. And there we are. Awesome. And then looks like we have this, this little kind of shape here. So this is just a, a line. Gonna ungroup that guy right there two little vectors and we're gonna put this guy right up just to give it a little bit more depth. And same with this little L shape. Again, giving it, going with the geometric look and feel. Let's do this one from scratch. So create a line. We'll actually do a line that kind of goes right there. 
and you can mess around with it however you want. And let's let's make this line. Let's see. Cool. That's how you'd go in there. Add those in there. Awesome. And then I won't add the full images in there, but you can basically just take these right here. You're going to duplicate it literally right down there. Do another one right here. And what you can do is flip horizontal, move this guy so that it's bifurcated right there. Obviously you'd have to go in here and flip horizontal and you would take this entire section and let's make this a little bit taller. Boom. And we're going to do that right there. Move this guy to the back. There we are. And then obviously you're gonna add in your, your product images, pretty straightforward. That's what we're, we're doing for these. And then what we like to do is we like to group these, group this, group this, and group this so that you have one, two, three, four. And of course we're distributing vertically and you can play around with these, mess around there. Cool, okay, so this last one, we're just taking this image and we're putting it into here nicely. So let's send it to the back. And we can we want to make sure to highlight obviously the guy's name here, Dimitri, as much as possible. Awesome. And then let's go grab whoops. Go grab this exact same CTA, throw it down here, center it. And then this right here is just another rectangle that we're coloring, giving it a little bit more angularity as such. Change that up a little bit. You can go back and make sure it's exactly a six point whatever angle. Doesn't really matter too much. Come on, there we are. Either way, totally cool. And then we're adding some logo and text in the footer for deliverability. And there we are, pretty much the entire process front to back. Now, if you're running a direct consumer e-commerce brand and you don't wanna to have to do this entire process yourself, but you still want beautifully designed emails like this, go check out zhs-ecom.com, book a call there, I'll teach you and actually do this all for you or just teach you how to do it. Also on there, you can sign up to my newsletter, link is as well in the description. Also check out all my other videos for more tutorials just like this one.